account itself where the amount related information is going to be maintained is known as the finance FICA finance and contracting account now any question till introduction part then we will go to the SAP we are going to start the SAP yes it, it's clear we can start it it's clear just yes. one second my screen is showing very small it's not the full screen I'm trying to see how I can enlarge my screen to fit the, the size of the screen. <laughs> okay. I think it is it is full in my screen. I am in the presentation mode. I, I will share this document to you. Okay. 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 No problem. Yeah. Documentation part I will share to you. That is not a big deal. Okay. No problem. If introduction is clear, we will go for the SAP data in ISU overview. They, in SAP utility word, there was a generation, transmission, distribution and end user. Okay, what is generation? Generation means where the electricity or a gas or a source of supply for water. Idly generation part is mostly used for the electricity. Okay, electricity is generated through coal. Electricity is generated through hydro. Or electricity is generated through power plants, right? Right. So that uh, specific part is known as the generation. Okay, after generation, now electricity has been generated now how we are going to transmit it we need a grid through grid we will transmit to some hubs right through line we will transmit to some hubs that is known as the transmission part right yes okay after transmission now another part is distribution let's suppose the transmission a huge uh, place where they store the electricity after that let's suppose in the big city they after generation they transmit to the any big city like new york they had given to the new york that transmission reached to new york after new york there will be a sub stations main station and then there will be sub stations i think in the plant maintenance you are aware station sub stations hub right yes so in the distribution part it will be a sub stations so let's suppose in the new york city there will be 200 substations from transmission they will distribute to 200 substations right electricity will reach to these 200 substations from these 200 substations it will goes to the end user end user means the house where the resource is living means people living that is no apartment it will from distribution to the apartment it will distribute to the end user Okay. okay this is the concept of generation to end user source of supply now what is isu industry specific solution for utility is known as the full form of isu okay now in isu there is a two types of data one is business master data and another is a technical master data you want to note down you can note down this is known as bmd okay, okay. and uh, same there is a tmd this is known as TMD. TMD stands for the business master data. Okay. Okay. A TMD stands for the technical master data. In business master data, we have business partner. This is known as BP. After BP, we have a contract account. In this sequence, it will work. So please remember the sequence. Then there will be CA. CA stands for the contract account. After contract account, there will be a contract. Contract idly it's actual contract. So you know some documentation part is known as where the agreement between company and the person who is going to take the electricity. That is known as the contract. Then after contract in the TMD, there is a connection object. After connection object, after premise after premise then we have a device location after device location we have installation okay. after installation we have a device when these these are the business master data and technical master data business master data means where the business related information is stored technical master data where technicality like Connection object, what is connection object? The, of the source of supply from where the electricity, gas or water we are supplying to the premise that is known as the connection object. Then premise, premise is nothing but a apartment or a house. Device location is the uh, placeholder where we are installing the any of type of meter. Installation 
installation means all the technical related information like what type of rate billing class mru schedule all this information will be stored in the installations and device is nothing but the to capture the consumption or a water consumption or a gas consumption that is known as the device by naming convention is it clear yes clear so in this uh, diagram we are just giving the one overview how it is connection what is the meaning of connection object contract one contract two contract three a person contract account this is the business partner let's suppose you are the business partner business partner is nothing but a person who is responsible to pay the bill is known as the business partner in the utility world okay then yes this business partner have their own account that is known as the contract account once the contract account is clear clear in his house he is taking the water gas and electricity three services he is taking so he is creating a three contracts okay one for the water one for the gas and one for the electricity right yes installation for electric meter installation for gas meter and installation for the water meter now are you able to understand this concept yes so in the his apartment device location hall this is his hall and in the hall the device location is there all the meters are located in the hall okay and for the water meter in the basement okay why we need device location let's suppose a meter reader is a person who is coming to take the meter reading and he reached your premise he don't know where is the meter located it's a 4000 square feet house is there so if you will not tell that meter is in the my hall or meter in the basement he will take 10 20 minutes to search the meter right and it's a waste of time correct yeah correct so if i will specify that your meter is in this place uh, meter reader will go directly to the place take his meter reading within a minute and he will go to the next house because he have a schedule he is to take this very fast right okay okay now yes. any question related to this once oh, these are completed it's good. Uh, yeah it's good it's Tell good yeah. yes you you explained very well thank you so now these are the very high level overview of the utility after this uh, high level we have to start the sap configuration part and then doing this so this master data once we complete the master data then we will start the device management okay i think you know the configuration how we are doing without configuration we cannot start any system right so now question arrive which module you want to learn what is the purpose of learning because you cannot be expertise in all these four modules right right i will give you the overview of all these modules but you need to understand and focus any one of the module which module is important for you you know very well plan maintenance i suggest you learn device management but it's up to you which module you want to learn we will prepare the documentation based on your interest okay so so why why did you suggest device management is it is it because of of the background of plant maintenance right because plant maintenance and device management are very closely interlinked means in device management most of the parts are created service order related parts are there you want to change the meter create a service order don't worry about that means i am saying that for your interest i am going to teach right. you over all of the isu okay i will teach you billing i will teach you fika i will teach you device management okay that is not concerned just i am asking your interest uh, means if you know very well that is your interest or not that up to you okay well so um so master i mean i, I know about the i mean plant maintenance is it at maybe is it master data if if you are if i'm dealing with a device i mean do, am i supposed to have the the master data on the system first yes uh, anything means before uh, we are not starting anything first i think 5 10 days we will go for the master data then we will start the modules first we will configure the master data then we will create a master data then we will move for any further modules modules will be secondary okay. first of all we okay. will go for the master data master data it will be helpful for everywhere not only this 
uh, I will give you the small background of your uh, material management when we are using, using the device that is controlled through material management. So how it is getting interlinked with material management, how it is getting interlinked with uh, cross functional okay. modules, okay. all these things. Okay. Okay. You have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and then we can proceed. Now let's proceed. Already I had given you the, this picture, right? Yes. Now business master data and technical master data business partner account and contract right yes then installation premise connection object right so when these next four to five days we will create in sap all these master data first we will configure the number range we will create it then we will start the next business steps so okay. after there will be two types of one is master data and other is a transactional data Okay, master data is a unique, it will not change forever, but transactional data is going to be changed every month, every time, like meter reading, consumption, every month or every two months or every six months, someone is going to take the meter reading of your house. Every day, the consumption is going to be changed. Today is one unit, tomorrow it will be two units. That is known as the transactional data. 